Well, Ryan, you're uh, second in line to answer questions we've had uh, tweeted into us. So um, some decent ones here and some, some strange ones as well. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, let's start off with um, Lorraine, who says, if you weren't a footballer, what other career would you have chosen? Anything in mind? That's a... It's <laughs> um, quite a good one, because in school I didn't really like... I wasn't the brightest, to be fair. <laughs> so I'd probably just gone into... Um, Probably personal training or something like that. Like that was that was probably a thing that I enjoyed. Probably the PE lesson. So I was like typical footballer in it, really. <laughs> <laughs> fair to say you're not yeah, that yeah, yeah, person. yeah. Probably something like that. To be fair, yeah. <laughs> Did you take any exams? Yeah, yeah. No, obviously I've done. Um, I've done all my GCSEs and all that. I'm not going to really say what I got. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't great. Not, not an academic. <laughs> yeah. right, okay. um, Levi Duffy. What's so special about Rovers uh, that made you choose it over other clubs? You know, in other words, to come back. Yeah, um, you never think about it. To be fair, it was um, you know obviously the the gaffer had a maf massive influence on me last year, and he um, trusted me enough to play me. So that was obviously a, a massive thing. Um, all the lads are obviously brilliant. Like, there's not one bad egg in there. They're all they're all top lads, and um, obviously the fans as well. They um, not just at home, but like away. It just generates such a good atmosphere for us and help us um, get points, get over the line if we're under pressure or something like that. So, yeah, it was everything about it. So you, you consider yourself an honorary gas editor? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well you could say that, yeah. <laughs> um, concurring says, um, where do you see Rovers come the end of the season? You I got a good feeling about it? Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, obviously, we've had a disappointing start, but definitely I think we've got the squad to... 100% push for top six. We've improved since last year. Some brought some good signings in. So yeah, I can see us pushing for the the playoffs like we were last year. We took it nearly down to the, the last day, which was unfortunate. But um, but yeah, now top six obviously the the aim this season. Would you make it a new players that the gap has brought in? Yeah, really good. Obviously, Sir, I played Sirks just for Oxford last year, and obviously Tom, they're the top players. To be fair, you can see the qualities they've got once you. Um, been training with them day in day out, so you can really see what they bring to the side. And obviously, bringing in Dom, he hasn't quite got his chance yet, but I'm sure he'll show what he can do. I know what a good player he is, so hopefully, when he gets his chance, he can take it. Did he come because of you? I think <laughs> I did. Uh, to be fair, when Rovers were interested in him, he did. Um, he obviously did ask me, and I just, I just told him the honest opinion, said how good it was down here. Um, so I think I probably did sway him a bit to coming down, but yeah, no, it was. He obviously um, he's enjoying it so far as well, yeah. Um, Ollie Luxton, who was the toughest opponent to mark in at Stoke in training? Mm. Um, probably say Bojan or Shakiri To be fair, they're just like they're one of them you can't really get the ball off them. Like they got such like low centre gravity and just so aware and they're around and they're so sharp. So yeah, I'd probably say one of them too. Yeah. Does that does that help your game having to mark people like that? Yeah, yeah, because it's always something. Um, once you step up and you see that sort of quality and what how good you have to be, um, it kind of helps you raise your game as well. So once you're playing against them players, you know that you can't really have an off session. Otherwise, you just look so out of place there. So it does help you get on, get your mind focused when you're training with them and obviously when you're playing with them as well. So I, I like this one. William Buttle says, in an arm wrestle between you and Tom Broad, <laughs> who would win? <laughs> I'd say well, we spoke about, we had a few of these. Already coming. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's got. Um, he's obviously got been in the army. He's got combat kind of background. But no, I'd fancy. So I'd, 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 yeah, no, we haven't arm wrestled yet, but no, I'd, I fancy myself. We can't. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to go head to head. Yeah, you? I know. We'd have to. We'd have to now. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll come back on that and report, <laughs> report the outcome of that uh, contest. Uh, thanks, William. There's one more from Doug Shields. I do apologize. Doug asks, "How good is Ryan Shawcross?" Yeah, no, he's. Um, I think he's played sort of over like 300 games or 400 games for Stoke now. So, I think when you see that he's come in and played week in week out for sort of the last nine, ten years at the top level as well, um, goes to show how good of a player he is. And then when you play with him as well, he's got slight talk so well. He's a good leader. So, so yeah, no, he's he's obviously a very good player, and obviously to be doing that at the top level for 
for that many years and is um, obviously a testament to him and how good he is. Yeah, I was going to ask about him and the others. Do they help the younger players? Instead? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, um, I think Charlie Adams another one who who's really good. He's um, influenced the young players, always talks to them, always talks in training, helps you out. So he's obviously another one that's um, played at a very high level for his, throughout his career. So, so yeah, no, them players, when you step up, they, um, they help out a lot, but they obviously demand a lot as well, which is, you know, some of the young lads there, when we step in, we have to step up to the plate, obviously. So, but yeah, no, like I said, they're, they're all um, really like top players and they help out a lot.